Hi, my name is Tim Smith from the Eden Project. Well, considering what I do, I am enormously concerned about the threat of climate change. I'm actually as concerned uh, with all the other things that go on in the environment, as, as in terms of looking at the planetary boundaries we've got. And I think agriculture is, accounts for about 43% of all of the negative impacts on the environment. Frankly, I think people don't talk about what we eat when it comes to tackling climate change because I don't think it's in the consciousness of most people. I, I, I think probably 99% of people aren't aware of it. When you talk to them about meat and the cost of meat production to the environment, it usually comes as a surprise and they think you're a bit of a strange person and they think you've probably got a political agenda. Well, predominantly what we serve anyway, it's not totally vegetarian, but the predominantly what we do is um, vegetable-based. Well, my experience when I went uh, vegan for, well, I went vegan for pretty much 18 months was that very quickly I felt different. I felt very, very different. I felt fitter um, and I, uh, th th my blood got a lot healthier. The major issue is to just steer clear, of, uh, uh, on top of meat, is also to steer clear of a lot of stuff with additives that your body can't process easily. Um, uh, especially refined flours and sugars and, and all that sort of stuff. And I think um, I was able to see how for me, A, I lost shed loads of weight, B, my blood stopped being rich in sugar, uh, and my cholesterol went through the floor. So um, if you want to live a short life, stay on the diet you're on. Go ahead. I believe in a free world. I'm a libertine. Go for it. But if you're not a mug, I'd just eat a hell of a lot less meat. And I'd start by demonstrating that the world doesn't sort of paper over and you don't end up in hell by becoming a vegan for a week. Just try it. Be open-minded, for heaven's sake. You know, stop being a bore and making everybody who is vegan. You, in your head, you're saying, oh, they're the hippies and they smell of patchouli oil and they weave muesli. Grow up. That's not true. A lot of quite civilized people, you know, don't eat meat. Um, and you should try it. And then you'll realize that there's a whole world out there.